Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. Your continued love and support on the channel. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services uh, that I do provide. So today's pick a card reading, we are doing how you think your person feels towards you versus how they actually feel. Okay, so how you think they feel versus how they actually feel. We do have three uh, piles for you guys today. I do want you, because with this reading, you know, with, with that question of as, us asking how you think that they feel, I want you to make sure that, uh, to make sure that you have the right pile, that you are choosing a pile um, that resonates with what you actually feel. Okay. So if you feel when we're drawing the cards, I'm going to put your energy over here. Um, once we get into your pile, if you feel like this side, when we're asking how you think they feel resonates for you, then you can be sure that that is your pile. Okay. If we go into the reading and we're pulling how you think they feel, or yeah, how you think that they feel, and it does not resonate for you, I want you to choose a different pile. I want to make sure that you're choosing the right pile so that you get the right messages for how your person actually feels towards you, okay? So that can be your kind of little energy check to make sure that you've chosen the right one, is just make sure that you resonate with the part of the reading where we're looking at how you think they feel. And if it is you know, it's, it's, it's correct. That is your pile. Okay. So yeah, if it doesn't, if it doesn't turn out so well, then you can just kind of go with one of the other piles. I also, I think I have this reading, um, in the playlist. I've done this before. Okay. <laughs> I've done this reading before. So you can look in the playlist to see if there is one of those, um, that resonate with for you a little bit more. Again, I'm also available for private readings for those of you that want to kind of do this reading for your person specifically. Okay, so pile number one is going to be this one here, and that is with this phosphiterite heart. Okay, for pile number one with phosphiterite little heart. Okay, pile number two you are going to be this blue rose quartz. Okay, for pile number two, the blue rose quartz. And pile number three, we have this rhodonite um, pink heart here. Okay, that is gonna be for pile number three. All right, so those are your choices today. Like I said, just make sure that your energy matches what you think they feel. If you if it matches, it's the right pile. If not, go back and choose another one to make sure that you do have the right rating and you are getting the right messages because at the end, we're also going to be getting some messages from your person, what they want to say to you. So I want to make sure that you do get the right rating for you. Okay, all right, so pile one with the phosphiterite. Pile two, we have blue rose quartz, and then pile three is the rhodonite heart. Timestamps will be down below for you guys, and I will see you at your reading. Hi, pile one. So those of you that resonated with this phosphiterite heart, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out how you think they feel, how your person, how you think your person feels uh, towards you versus how they actually feel. Okay, so as I said in the intro, we want to make sure that when I'm showing you and talking about the energy of how you think they feel, that it actually resonates with you. Um, if it is how you actually think they feel, then you know that you've chosen the right pile and then you can kind of continue on. If it doesn't resonate, choose a different pile. Okay, so this is part of how you think they feel. Um, these other oracle cards um, are belonging to your energy as well. These two here in the center are going to talk about what is the energy connecting the two of you. 
and then these other ones here are going to be how they actually feel towards you so we'll look at these first make sure it resonates if it does awesome um so let's look how do you think they actually feel towards you okay so we have card number six which is it is what it is it is what it is okay I'm noticing there's a there's a door here it is closed but there's a bunch of this beautiful light energy and stars kind of almost like lighting the way <laughs> lighting the way um towards the door and there's even like a like a carpet here that's leading to the door like it's being illuminated here okay so that is the first one we have the high priestess we have the turtle which is water energy element of water mm. some of you could be dealing with a Pisces okay it could also be Cancer Scorpio it doesn't have to be but there is definitely a watery um, energy that's here and then we also have relationships uh, and it says I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good okay so how you think they feel towards you okay so I feel like you think that they feel that there is a very strong soul connection here okay whether or not they admit it okay because there could be some denial here because we are seeing a closed door you think that they feel that you are the one that they are meant to be with i feel that you think they feel that there is this undeniable connection between the two of you i feel like you think that they feel that it is something that is very spiritual and almost that they cannot deny however some of you might kind of acknowledge that this person might be somebody who kind of retreats into themselves in a way that they could be someone who is potentially a little bit closed off with regards to their feelings, their emotions. Um, they, you could even pick up on this person, maybe even having some fears of commitment. So this is all in the way that you think that they feel almost like there's a There's a strong connection here. Very spiritual. Some of you, it may even be that you think that they feel that there is something significant here. Past life energy, old soul. And it kind of makes me feel like you, it's kind of like you know that they know. Like you're looking at them and you're just like, how can you deny this? How are you not seeing this? <laughs> um, it's kind of the energy that I'm getting from this. How are you not seeing this? Um, I feel like there's, you think that they feel definitely a very strong emotional connection to you, um, that you think that they, they, they feel about you, that this connection is something that they've never had before, that it is something that is quite unique. Um, kind of like you think that they feel like this is like a higher level, maybe soulmate or divine, even a divine counterpart situation. Um, you know, this card here, it is what it is, talks about radical acceptance, you know, and accepting things or, you know, people, situations for what it is. There's also a number six there. The six is the lovers in the tarot. And so, yeah, especially with the high priestess being here, that you think that they feel, that, like I said, that there is a very strong soul connection here whether it be soulmate or divine counterpart twin flame type of energy for some of you um 
Some of you might even think that this person feels like this connection is unlike anything they've ever experienced before. I do have a feeling that you think that they feel that it is of something very spiritual, something that maybe goes beyond ex explanation, you know, something, something quite different, something quite unique, very spiritual, very high level uh, type of energy here. Um, yeah, and I feel like you might even be someone with the high priestess energy here who is someone who has a lot of prophetic dreams or visions. You might think that they feel that they're experiencing potentially, um, like 5D type of energy because it could be something that you're experiencing, you know? So it almost gives me this, this feeling like, like, how are they not ac accepting this? How are, how are they not seeing this? Like, there, there's something here that is quite significant. Um, like I said, whether or not they are in uh, denial about it, or they try to shut down and close themselves off, or, uh, you know, having difficulty maybe with accepting it, or with even... You might even think that they feel like, are they ready for this? Are they ready for this level of, because it makes me feel like this connection is not ordinary, like just an ordinary type of connection. There's something very high vibrational, something very transformative, something very healing about what you think that they feel in this, that it's something quite different. Um... I have a feeling that you think that they feel that this connection is something that could be restoring faith and hope that true love and relationships that feed your soul in a sense are actually possible and that a lot of healing and transformative energy can take place. Okay. Okay. I feel like you think that they feel that this very well might be a connection. Not only that they haven't experienced before, but that you have shown them something so different in that it is possible to connect with people on such a deep soul level. Okay. It's kind of what I'm getting here. Okay. So let's get a little bit more to see what, mm, I think I'm going to save the connecting energy. Let's look at how uh, your person actually feels towards you. Okay. So we have card, wow, number 11, um, we have in perfect harmony. Okay, in perfect harmony. Let's make sure that we have room here. In perfect harmony. Let's put this one. We have the lizard, which is fire energy. Could potentially be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, number 11 is the justice card. Okay, in the tarot. We also have the sun. Beautiful. The sun. I hope this fits later. And then we also have growth. And it says, I want to, ex wow. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Okay. So this makes me feel that the way that your person actually feels is that what, okay, first I want to say this, what you're picking up on from this person, I feel like is accurate because this person over here, what they actually feel here is that it is something that is very balanced. I almost feel like with the number 11 here in justice, like they feel like experiencing this type of connection with you is like long overdue. <laughs> I feel like because 
This person may have been someone who has gone through a lot of challenging relationships. And it's kind of like when they experience this type of energy with you, that it's kind of the, the sun energy is about life force, vitality, joy, happiness. And here we're seeing these two people who are just like in a state of bliss um, and the way that they're kind of, you know, supporting each other one right here in the middle by holding hands, but the way that they've kind of arched their bodies back, almost like they're supportive of, of each other's weight in a sense. So there is this balance here. Um, the sun is also masculine energy. The high priestess is feminine. So like I said, this could be like divine counterpart. Okay. Soulmate. Maybe, like I said, for some of you, twin flame, um, but yes, I, I feel like this connection, how they actually feel is that the two of you um, balance each other out, okay? I feel like your connection is something that kind of uplifts, uplifts their spirit. And maybe there has been, maybe you have done something that has really, I feel like sparked something within this person that is really helping them to grow and change and transform. I, I feel like even with the lizard being here, it is a very regenerative, you know, if a lizard loses its tail, it grows it back. <laughs> it grows it back again. So this makes me feel like, you know, if this person had lost something, in their past, it's almost like you've, you've, your, your connection with them has brought about this regenerative force to it. You know, here out of this, I don't even know what kind of instrument this is. I don't think, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I should guess or not. If it's a trumpet or something else, maybe I'm wrong. A horn, I don't know. <laughs> but there's a bunch of music that is coming out here. And there's rose petals and stars and it's something super beautiful. So I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So I have a feeling that this person actually feels towards you that there is something very, maybe very spiritual about you. You could be very spiritual here. Okay. Very much into spirituality and nurturing your um, intuitive gifts. Very intuitive person. But I feel like this person with the, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness that maybe because of the way that you embody your energy here in the high priestess, that this person kind of wants to grow and evolve. I feel like your energy is something that's very inspiring to them. And I feel like it's kind of wanting to, uh, transform, you know, they feel that there is this very, I feel like balanced energy between the two of you. Um, I feel like this person feels very drawn to you, very attracted to you. They just kind of, I don't know. It almost kind of makes me feel like this person feels it like on such a deep level that goes beyond just say like physical attraction. It's something deeper that this person feels. I kind of have a feeling that this person kind of holds you in high regard. And like I said, for some of you, it's whether or not they're actually coming forward and actually saying that to you. I feel like the way the what you do to this person energetically is something that makes them want to, I feel like, ascend spiritually, that wants to grow, uh, transform, become a better version of themselves. Um, some of you, this person could listen to a lot of music, you know, uh, they could even, if there's somebody who's very creative, they can even be someone who kind of writes songs or lyrics or, you know, uh, listens to music that, that with you in mind, right? Things that remind them of you. The sun energy is also very abundant. So it makes me feel like this person feels that you in their life 
Okay, regardless of what the circumstances are right now, because I, I know some of you could actually be dating the person, some of you could be separated from the person or even broken up. Um, but it makes me feel like this person feels like being around you, being around your energy, having, you know, knowing you, you being in their life or, you know, maybe past tense were in their life that there is this blessing here, grateful, I feel like, having gratitude um, for the experience. So yeah, it makes me definitely feel like this person, there's something about your energy that, that makes them want to grow, makes them want to change, want, what makes them want to let go of certain limitations, you know, and, and kind of grow outside of them. Um, yeah, this, I mean, even the, the lizard energy is, is, is quite spiritual. <clears throat> there is also this energy of telepathy here, which is interesting because you have this telepathic energy here with the high priestess. So it could even be that, you know, you guys just have like your own language with it, kind of like unspoken, like. There is kind of like this inner knowing between the two of you, even if, you know, like I said, that door is closed here, even if it's something that they're not saying to you, it's kind of like, you know, that they know, and they know, <laughs> they know, they feel it, they, you know, it, it's here. So it makes me almost kind of feel like this person feels this sense of uh, some kind of relief. I'm going to move this over a bit, you guys. Because I know that later when I crop this video down to the size that it needs to be for YouTube, that it might kind of crop it too short and it might make it so that you guys can't see the card. So hopefully that is okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a very spiritual uh, energy here. So let's look at what the connecting energy is um, between the two of you. But I almost kind of feel like looking at this already, I mean, we have the high priestess here. So I feel like those of you that chose this pile, your intuition is on point. <laughs> your intuition is on point with this connection. Um, so yeah, let's look at that. We have number 33, Angels and Masters. Wow. And this is the energy, can, this is the connecting energies. Look at the chakras all just lit up here. Activated. There's angel wings around here too. Which makes me feel that this this connection that you have with this person is something that is divinely guided. It is a faded connection, regardless of regardless of like I said, what the current circumstances are, whether you are with the person, not with the person. I I definitely feel like there is something significant about why you and this person connected with each other. Um, to me, this is kind of like this energy of enlightenment or uh, like divine energy here. Something very, very spiritual here. I have a feeling it's very 5D, okay, the connecting energy between the two of you. Not only, you know, what you're experiencing here, but there's also this very spiritual, very ethereal energy about this as well. Some of you, this could even be like a connection that you, you had, maybe that has awakened the two of you, okay? A spiritually, spiritual awakening. This kind of makes me feel like some type of kundalini awakening. Um, 
Okay, let's see. Let's hopefully this fits here. Okay. We have the healer. Wow. Yeah, definitely a very, very spiritual connection. The healer energy here is between the two of you. So connecting energy, being that we have all of these chakras that are lit up here, they're all, it looks like they're all being activated, you know, and of course that is something that takes time because even when you go through a spiritual awakening, a Kundalini awakening, um, it is something that starts in the root chakra. Okay. And the Kundalini is something that rises like a, like a snake. It rises through, um, each of the chakras. And if all of that happened at once, okay, which it rarely does. Okay. Because there are blockages here to work through. Kundalini starts to rise within these. And if there is blocked energy here, these energy centers in the body, they think of them as like this wheel of flowing energy, right? They're, they're flowing here. And that's when that, that, you know, the, the chakra is in, I want to say working order, <laughs> doing what it's supposed to be doing. But when we start to have go through things and, you know, have like feelings and emotions and anger and all kinds of stuff that we experience, guilt, shame, anger, it starts to get trapped in here and it kind of dims the light in a way so that instead of that being a powerful kind of energy center within the body, it starts to slow down. It starts to become kind of not as say like active, right? So when you go through a spiritual awakening, that Kundalini starts to rise first within the root chakra and starts to move through here. So with the healer being here, it makes me feel that this is a very healing transformative connection between the two of you. And that I feel like you are meant to awaken. You are meant to work on your spiritual path. You're meant to, you know, move through and remove the blockages within the chakras, you know, and reaching, you know, like I said, a, a major Kundalini awakening with which is activating all of the chakras. That would be something that would probably shock your system too much. And so it kind of rises very slowly when you're ready because this, that would probably, <laughs> I don't want to say we put you in the hospital, but you know, it would be quite, quite, um, I think they call that, um, I can't remember what they call it. Some type of, some type of, uh, crisis or something like that. It's, it can be very, very overwhelming. Okay. Um, uh, too much to handle because of course with the crown chakra being activated as well the crown cannot activate unless it's it's able to move through these chakras right we have to clear blockages here um the crown chakra is our connection to source um you know essentially high 5d okay 5d energies um and it takes work right to to kind of clear these blockages here most people only function from the lower chakras Okay, most, we experience things down here. And when we can really heal, we can open up to experience higher frequency, higher vibrational um, energies here where we're no longer limited by things here. But that's another topic <laughs> before I get too, too much off of it in a tangent. But basically, this is, you know, this is a very healing energy that's between the two of you. I do feel that this is a very, very spiritual connection. Um, it could be that you and this person, you know, have really kind of healed and have maybe even triggered certain things within each other uh, for healing here. An incredible amount of, 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 of transformation. Um that is here. It's, it's such a beautiful energy pile one. 
I don't know that other pi the other piles are going to be like this. <laughs> but this is definitely very, very spiritual. You know, look at on both sides here. And even this connecting energy between the two of you, you definitely feel like it is something that is divinely guided, you know. And like I said, maybe, it, you know, if regardless of what the circumstances are right now, there's definitely a very clear purpose here. Okay, a very clear purpose for you to activate maybe each other and activate healing. Um, some of you, this could be healing generational trauma. We have three snakes here, so it makes me feel like maybe there's three generations here, you know, that you could be healing. And I feel like both feminine and masculine energies here. This balance here, the masculine here on this side, the feminine energy here on this side. Um, okay, so now let's let's start pulling some tarot here. And we're going to pull a little bit more. Okay, with what, how you think that they feel towards you. Let's pull and see. Okay, so how do you think that they feel towards you? How do you think they feel towards you? The Three of Wands. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, let's see how am I going to put these in here, let's move them up here, and then we also have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and let's pull one more. How do you think they feel? The Knight of Swords. Mm. So I think that you feel... Hold on. <laughs> I think that you think they feel that you are someone who is healing patient with them as they're moving through this healing energy um the eight of pentacles is also a card of of self mastery it's about putting in a lot of hard work and effort into something here so i do think that you feel that this person is someone who is wanting to that they miss you okay for some of you if you are at a distance from this person that you think that they feel like they're thinking about you they miss you they're wanting to come towards you and you know communicate um that you think that they feel about more or less, I feel like about investing more time and energy here. That they want to work on things, that they want to work on themselves. They want to feel more, you know, balanced and healed here. The three of ones can also talk about future foresight, thinking ahead, planning ahead. So it could even be that you think that this person feels I'm, I'm getting like this energy of like thinking about the future, you know, planning a future. So some of you might even think that, you know, this person is planning. It could be planning, you know, what their steps are about what they're going to say, um, that they see a future with you. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now let's look at what they actually feel. We're going to pull some tarot over here. Some of you can also be dealing with an Aries. Um, we've got air sign energy, Gemini, uh, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay. Also 
Virgo energy. Okay. <clears throat> so how do they actually feel towards you? How do they actually feel towards you? How do they actually feel towards you? Knight of Wands. <laughs> okay. Look at how that wolf is like howling. Very attracted to you. To me, this is also this energy of pursuing. Like they're feeling maybe like the call of their soul <laughs> with that Knight of Wands like that. Let's see. How do they actually feel towards you? This is such a beautiful energy. We have the devil. How do they actually feel the devil? The devil could be fear. The devil can also talk about hidden desire. Desire for something. Capricorn energy. We've also got the page of wands. How do they actually feel towards you? The Hierophant, wow. And the Nine of Swords. Okay. So if you're not in a committed relationship with this person, this person does think about long-term commitment with you, okay? Um, but I feel like with the Nine of Swords energy here, there is anxiety here. There is fears. Um, if you're already committed or married to this person, you know, then it could be a little bit of these fears about, you know, wanting to, to, I feel like make sure that your connection is something that does last. Look who's at the bottom, the Empress. So this person, you know, for, for some of you, this is, this person loves you. Okay. They see you as their Empress, as their kind of like the love of their life. I feel like. Um, I feel like this person, like there's something also that you bring out in this person's energy that is very youthful. Cause I'm noticing that we have the page and the night here. These are very youthful energies, very passionate. So it could be that you bring something out in this person. Some of you, it could be that you touch kind of like in a way, like their inner child. Okay. There's a healing, nurturing energy about you that this person feels. It's like I said, it's, it's kind of like it's deeply transformative. Like this makes me feel like there's healing inner child here. Fears that maybe their inner child has that you're even you're getting that deep in with this energy that's been ha that's happening here. This this activation that's here. Um, we've got Taurus and Libra energy here, also Sagittarius, um, Gemini. I want to see what's at the bottom of the other deck. <clears throat> the King of Swords. How you think this person feels with the King of Swords. Looking at this King of Swords here, he's sitting here with his eyes covered. The King of Swords is a little bit more of a detached energy. So I kind of feel like kind of like how we saw that door on this side over here. That door closed, even though it's like illuminated. So it makes me feel like you think this person feels a little detached they're guarded they're protected but there's feelings here look at that the queen of cups is under here they're they you know they might be somebody who is not so good with their feelings talking about them expressing them feelings and emotions but it's like you think that they 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 feel the feelings there but they're hiding them and covering or concealing them with this king of swords type of like i don't have feelings <laughs> i don't have feelings 
But look at how this person feels. It's like the Empress and the Two of Pentacles. And I feel like, you know, the Two of Pentacles is also about choices. Going up, I mean, the Two of Pentacles can also be about um, going kind of back and forth, you know. So especially if you are someone who is not committed to this person, not in a relationship with them, um, there is, for some of you, there is a fear of commitment here, okay. A fear of, of, of committed relationship, even though I feel like that they actually feel so drawn to you. You know, the Page of Wands is also this very energy of excitement, of adventure, of passion, you know. There may also be this non-committal energy here where, especially for those of you where this person does have a fear of commitment. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Some of you, it could be that this person is someone who had been... And of course, this isn't going to be for all of you, okay? So don't take the message if it's not for you. But I'm also getting a person who has been maybe a little bit of a player in their life, who's been spent a lot of time being single or kind of just going from connection to connection to connection, relationship, relationship. And it's kind of like something about your energy is different so this makes me feel like if they were once kind of like a player and a person who was has always been kind of like non-committal that this connection is something that could actually be changing and transforming this person beyond being that way you know kind of like a reformed player, <laughs> a reformed player. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like there's something very instinctual and very, very much something. I definitely feel like this person is feeling a very intense energy with you. Very attracted. You know, the Empress is a beautiful energy. Um, it is about fertility and, you know, some of you, this person could even think about having a family with you, wanting a family with you, planning. Um, I feel like they feel insanely attracted to you. Okay. So where are we at? We're already 40 minutes into your reading. I guess these piles are going to be pretty long today. Okay. So what else do we want to do? Um, mm, let's get some messages. Okay. Cause I don't want, it's already, I don't want it to be super long. Let's get some messages, um, from your person. What do they want to say to you? What does your person want to say to you? We have time. Okay, so it says, please give me more time to prove that I can be a better person for you. We also have damaged. And it says, you deserve much more than what I could give you. My heart was damaged and locked. So they, they, this person, I feel like, has a lot of healing to do. Okay. Um, like I said earlier, I'm getting kind of mother wounds or m feminine energy, masculine. It could be mother wounds, father wounds. There's a lot of generational, um, I feel like trauma healing um, here. We also have only you. You are the only one that makes my heart beat fast. You are the one for me. Wow. I don't know how the other piles are going to do <laughs> against this one here. We have waking up and it says, I didn't believe in true love until I met you. You helped me to wake up. Look at that. Wow. We also have future. It says we are not over. I still dream about a future with you. Let's get one more. 
regret. It says, I regret my mistakes and I hope the universe will give us another opportunity. So this may be, especially for those of you that are uh, separated or broken up or, you know, maybe having some issues here. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have contact. And it says, I want to contact you and be honest, but I'm not sure if you want to hear from me. Okay. And we have soulmate. We have known each other in another life. I can feel this connection in my soul. And that's exactly what is coming through here. Attracted. I'm so attracted to you. I have never felt this way before. Clearly. <laughs> we can see that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number one. I do hope this is helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pile 2. So those of you that resonated with the Blue Rose Quartz, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out how you think your person feels towards you versus how they actually feel, okay? So we want to make sure that you resonate with this first part of the reading where we're asking how you think they feel. If that matches what you actually think, um, then you've chosen the right pile. If not, Go back and choose one of the other um, piles. So I did pull the oracle cards um, before this reading just to save time because it's a lot. Um, so this here is going to be part of what you actually think that they or what how you think they feel. Okay, um, which is these here. This is going to be the connecting energy between the two of you. And then this over here is going to be how they actually feel towards you. So we'll look at this first to make sure that this resonates for you, what it is, what you're actually feeling here. Um, if it does, you can keep watching. If not, you want to go back and choose something else. Okay, so how do you think they feel towards you? We have card number 16, and it says the royal you. Okay. Hmm. We have judgment here. We have the gazelle, which is element of fire. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, potentially for some of you. Um... I'm also getting Scorpio energy here. And then we have purpose. And it says, I know what I am here to do. Okay. So how do you think they feel towards you? Okay. So first off, I think that you feel that this person is very attracted to you. Um... But I also feel like pile two that you get into your head a little bit and you might at some times, and I feel like it's because of this gazelle energy. The gazelle energy is a little bit hyper vigilant, maybe goes into worrying or anxiety. And we do have judgment here. So it could be that you kind of, you know, get into your head a little bit and you might overthink how this person feels towards you. Like, it's kind of like you know that they that they um, feel that you're very attractive. Um, but I feel like you might at the same time, too, because you might overthink. You might also feel like this person is judging you or criticizing you. Or you could also be someone who kind of asks a lot of questions. Maybe because you're uncertain in some regard here. Um Yeah, so you might kind of feel, and I, and like I said, I, I kind of feel like it might be just because of this gazelle energy here, the hypervigilance, overthinking, overanalyzing, like your mind kind of racing here. Um, you might also kind of think that way too about them, that maybe there's someone who's in their head a lot. Um, hmm. For some of you, I think that you feel that this person feels some type of um, past life connection with you, um, that you feel that they th think they feel that there's some type of purpose with this connection. Um, maybe that could even be about clearing karma here 
or even some type of karmic cycle that you and this person have gone through. Um, for some of you, I think that you think that this person feels that there is some type of it almost makes you feel because this number 16 here is the tower energy and the tower energy can bring in upheaval chaos um awakening a revelation okay maybe to some kind of purpose here so you might even think that this person feels like this connection is meant to to help bring maybe some type of awareness in some regard um It could be something that this person is still trying to figure out. Okay. How this how this connection kind of plays a role, I feel like, in their life. Um, I feel like you, you feel maybe at times this person goes between having faith and trust in the connection. And then other times kind of goes back into... A place where they may not be so trusting and I feel like that's more or less judgments off of past situations that this person has gone through okay what else am I getting here I also feel like you think this person feels that you okay what I'm what I'm kind of getting with this energy is that <clears throat> You think this person feels, and, and I feel like you could be someone, pile number two, who's very attractive, and that this person, how do I explain this energy? That this person might be someone who kind of perceives you in a way that you're just like not that this is a you know I'm not I don't want you to take this in a bad way because the gazelle also has a very vulnerable energy very vulnerable so it makes me feel like if you know you you truly are somebody who is very attractive that they also see you as somebody who is a little vulnerable and that may also be because of past situations that you've gone through as well some painful things that you've gone through hmm what else am I seeing here I feel like you also think that this person feels afraid to trust okay which is something that was coming through here afraid to trust that things are not going to be in this connection maybe what they've been in the past for this person experiencing like whatever they've experienced in their past and it makes me feel like it has been quite challenging for them that you think that they feel afraid to really maybe even be vulnerable you feel like this person's afraid of being vulnerable with you afraid of of really opening up to this connection that you are someone who's kind of in a way challenging certain beliefs that they have about releasing them about letting them go you know and that could be maybe that you've with the purpose energy here that you've been someone who has tried to help this person to change their mindset to change and transform and to grow and to evolve into a better version of themselves You know, the judgment card is about our soul's calling. It's about a wake-up call. It's about transformation. You know, the judgment card is, is symbolic of the phoenix rising from the ashes, the death and rebirth, um, to bring about renewal and release from the past. Okay, so I want to look at... 
I think I'm going to save the connecting energy here for after we look at what your person actually feels towards you. And then we're also going to pull some tarot here um, as well. Okay, so we have card number 13. It says feeling the world. Feeling the world. We have the camel again, fire energy here. <clears throat> we have perseverance and it says I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to and then we also have the three of cups three of cups Some of you with a judgment card here could very well be separated from this person. Okay, it won't be all of you, but some of you, it could very well be that you're separated. And judgment could really be that you might feel like this person wants to reconcile with you or wants to, you know, start over and just kind of like leave the past in the past and start over again. Um, with what this person actually feels towards you. The Three of Cups energy is about joy. It's about happiness. It's also about, uh, you know, emotionally bonding with people, connecting, socializing. Um, it is also an energy of friendships, but it's also an energy of supportive people. So this person might feel that you are someone who has been um, very supportive of them. Okay. Um, this person might also feel that you are someone who is also very independent, someone who is very um, resourceful, that you're very sure and I feel like more confident, okay, of yourself, especially with that royal you energy. You know, you may have done a lot of, I feel like a lot of inner work on yourself to really build up your, your confidence, your self-esteem, and to, I feel like, really kind of give off, you know, a a beautiful energy, you know, but I definitely feel like it's through a lot of transformation here that you have that energy. Um, <clears throat> what else do I want to say this? Hmm. I definitely feel like this person has feelings towards you with the camel energy, though. It kind of comes across as very like calm very calm energy, very soothing. So it could even be that your connection with them is something that makes them feel that it's okay, it's safe to love, it's safe to open up. Because with the feeling with the world card here, to me, feeling the world sounds like a person who's holding on to a lot of stuff, like the weight of the world, feeling the world. Um... And that could be symbolic of this person holding on to, because also the camel holds on to water. Which makes me feel like this person could even be somebody who's kind of holding back. Holding back from you in some regard. But with the perseverance here, it says, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Which is about moving past challenges, obstacles, continuing to move forward. Hmm. So yeah, I do feel like this person does is someone who enjoys spending time with you, being around you, talking to you. Three of Cups is also an energy of um, friendship here. You know, this person might feel like you're someone who kind of balances them out in some way. That you bring balance here within this connection here. Some of you may even be, um, yeah, because look at that. We've got fire and water. Fire and water. They are two opposing forces. Two opposing forces of energy. So some of you might even feel like this person is like, because you're somebody who's super attractive and there's this fire energy here, 
that you might think that they're attracted to you. And I feel like this is, again, this is you getting into your head a little bit. That you might feel like this person just wants you for intimacy. They just want you, you know, for, for just that. Non-committal. But I feel like this person actually has feelings here. They actually have feelings here and they could be kind of holding back with them. Especially with the feeling the world. It could be, you know, just more or less this energy of... of holding back. They could also be somebody who's going through some transformation here as well. We've got Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy here as well. Okay, so let's look at what the connecting energy is between the two of you. We have the kiss, okay, <laughs> the kiss. Um, and we also have number 24 with listening. Listening. Mm. I feel like with this connecting energy here between the two of you that both of you kind of feel a very intense connection with each other here we're seeing two people that are kind of holding hands here and I feel like both of you may be really you know trying to tune in and listen to what your intuition um, is telling you I feel like there's there's definitely a need here for really communi for communicating. Um, I feel like being far more open with with uh, throat chakra, with throat chakra energy here, being able to really voice things. <clears throat> I feel like this is also listening to your heart, your feelings. Versus the the thinking, you know, what does your heart say to you? What is your, what are your feelings here? And there definitely being this bond and this connection between the two of you. I feel like there is a lot of daydreaming about one another. A lot of both of you kind of trying to understand your feelings, understand your emotions. Trying to tune into the intuition with how to move, I feel like, this connection forward. Okay, so I want to pull some tarot here and I want to kind of see again how you think they feel towards you, and then we'll do the same over there with them. <clears throat> how do you think they feel towards you? We have the Eight of Swords. So yeah, you definitely think that this person is feeling trapped or kind of taking on a more passive a more passive energy holding back limiting themselves and kind of for some of you like even keeping their distance you might even think that this person feels afraid about future about planning anything about i mean it for some of you it might even have to do with distance here like they have this longing for you to be with you, to talk to you, to connect with you, but like they're holding back here. They could be um, having a lot of uh, negative thoughts, self-limiting beliefs. How do you think they feel towards you? Queen of Pentacles. And ooh, wow, look at that. King and Queen of Pentacles. So you think that they feel like they want a commitment, a connection, but uh, there's fear here with that eight of swords. Like they're blocking themselves. Like you feel it. Like they, you think that they feel like there's a, there's like this connection is meant to be. That's what you think, right? You think that they, they, they are thinking this is meant to be, but maybe they're in denial about it. Maybe they're holding themselves back here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck, we do have the death card. Again, Scorpio energy. Um, Aries energy is also here. Taurus, Virgo, and uh, Capricorn. And we also have Gemini. So let's now see how do they actually feel towards you. How does your person actually feel towards you? The lovers and judgment. So yeah, for some of you, they definitely feel a bond here. They definitely feel a connection. Some of you, it could be something that they feel is past life. Okay, past life connection. Um... I feel like that they 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 actually feel that your connection is something that is very intense. It is something that has also I feel like been very transformative. Okay, very transformative. We have a beautiful butterfly here. Let's see what else. Again, with the Scorpio energy. Gemini How do they actually feel towards you? How do they actually feel towards you? The Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this person is, I feel like, very much wanting to. There's interest here. Okay, I feel like this person does think about commitment. I feel like this person is wanting to put in and show you by putting in more effort here. And I feel like it's also about working on themselves. Working on themselves here. We've also got uh, more Gemini energy here. Um, Virgo as well. And then under the bottom of this one, we have the Queen of Swords. I feel like this person is someone who, yes, they kind of might come across as a little guarded here. Almost like this person has these feelings that are here and feels that connection. Now, if you guys are broken up, separated, and, you know, there could very well be that this person does think about reconciliation. But I also feel like with the Queen of Swords energy here, you know, this is also a very discerning energy. I feel like this person wants to tell you the truth of how they do feel towards you, which is the King of Cups. <laughs> there is feelings here. What is under the death card? The Two of Swords. And Temperance. Yeah, so this person definitely has feelings here. This person also may really care about you a lot. I feel like this person has deeper feelings for you than they actually let on. Hmm. Definitely deeper feelings than they let on here. I feel like this person is someone who kind of also takes time to like imagine, like fantasize in a way. I feel like you guys both kind of find each other in a way, like having dreams about one another. Okay. I feel like you, you also feel like this person is confused, indecisive. Okay. I want to look at this magician energy a little bit because the magician is about... Having the willpower to do something. So maybe it's a, this person is trying to work on maybe those aspects of themselves where they do have difficulty with
really investing. I feel like investing here. Why is the magician here? The five of pentacles. The six of swords. And the seven of pentacles. So some of you, there could be this detached energy here, especially with that queen of swords that we saw. I definitely feel like this person has some fears here, some insecurities about feeling confident in their, in their actions here. And this, you know, of course, with the five of pentacles energy here, this could have nothing to do with you. This could be this own, this person's own insecurities that they have to work on here. Hmm. I want to look at your energy over here with this eight of swords, with how you think they feel. What is this eight of swords? But I definitely feel like you think that they feel afraid of commitment here. And that's kind of the vibe over here. What is this Eight of Swords? Temperance. Could even be a case where you're thinking that they feel like they need more time. They need more time. They may be wanting you to be patient. You know, with, with healing and working past, I feel like those uh, limiting beliefs that are there. I kind of want to look at this listening here. This connecting energy uh, between the two of you. So what is this listening about, Spirit? What is this listening about? The Four of Cups. What is this listening about? The Fool. And Justice. Yeah, so what I feel like the connecting energy here between the two of you, um, the Four of Cups is about missed opportunities. It's about being distracted. It's about not seeing the beauty of what is right in front of you, right? What is being offered here? You know, to me, that listening is feeling like what is the intuition saying? And I feel like with the Fool energy here, this is about taking a leap of faith, doing the, like, it's almost like, like your higher selves are telling you, give this a chance. Go for it. Open yourself up to it. Take the leap of faith. Get, you know, that, that's, what, that's what I'm getting here. Like, give it a chance. What are you doing? <laughs> there could be something amazing here. If only you would allow yourself to, you know, put any, say, like, uh, toxic or karmic patterns of behavior behind you. You know, maybe that does mean working on yourself so that you can just allow yourself to kind of flow into receiving. You know, but this person might be somebody who is, right, a little detached, guarded, and, you know, in order for us to really connect with somebody, we have to let that guard down. We have to be vulnerable. Okay. So we are going to end. And your reading is a little shorter than pile one. But I want you to know, you know, it doesn't mean that I love you any less. Sometimes some energies come through a little different and a lot easier to just you know, with the messages. Sometimes there's some readings that are a little complicated and they take more, <laughs> more effort or more, 
time you drawing in there. So let's see. What does your person want to say to you? What message does your person have for you? Healing. And it says we have to allow healing before having a real chance to be happy again. We also have ego here. And it says my pride and ego kept us apart. I know now and I'm sorry. What message does your person have for you? What do they want to say to you right now? Immature. It says, I know that I was immature and I still need to grow and learn to be someone who deserves you. We have romance. I have romantic feelings for you. I'm not sure if you feel the same. Please send me a sign. <laughs> Maybe you've already given this person way too many signs. I don't know. Let's see. We have potential and it says, I can already imagine our future life together and I love it. So like I said, I kind of feel like there's a lot of daydreaming that goes on here. And we also have believe. It says, I believe that we can work things out. I hope that you feel the same. Let's see what we have at the bottom. We have shadows. I'm working on my shadows. I have so much to change. Missing you. I look at your pictures constantly. You are so beautiful. I miss you so much. Uh, chance. It says, please give me a chance to prove that I'm worthy of your love. And then we also have waking up. I didn't believe in true love until I met you. You helped me to wake up. All right. Okay. So I'm going to leave this reading here for you. Pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pile 3. So those of you that resonate with the Rhodonite Tart, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out, um, where's my notes at? <laughs> how you think they feel um, versus how they actually feel towards you. Okay. So with this reading, like I said in the intro, I want you guys to make sure that when I'm pulling this energy here, this first energy we're going to look at, that it actually resonates for how you actually feel think that they feel if it doesn't match choose another pile because I want to make sure that you get the right messages so these are going to be how you think they feel um, you guys actually got more cards than the other piles um, this is going to be the, the energy connecting you and then this is going to be um, how they actually feel towards you okay but we're going to save these we're going to look at your energy first to make sure you've chosen uh, the right pile Okay, so how do you think they feel towards you? We have card number 24 with let it go. Okay. We have service and it says I feel good when I can help others. We have the fish. And we also have the star. Okay, so how you think they feel. Hmm. I think that you feel that this person has feelings towards you. But there is something within you that you feel from this person's energy. Because this fish here has a very restless energy. It can kind of get lost in the current of feelings, emotions. Um, it could even be um, a little bit of a wavering energy that you feel from this person. Maybe a little bit inconsistent. It could be like in and out, hot and cold. Um that maybe they haven't made up their mind and you might even kind of get from this person that they are detached. They're wanting to let go. They could be wanting to let the connection go, move on from you. Um, we do have the star here. And also I can, I feel good when I can help others. So I, I definitely feel like there is something 
almost like your energy has kind of challenged this person in a way to grow. And I feel like you feel that in this person's feelings and emotions for you, that they do feel a little bit lost and that you're kind of perceiving for them that maybe they're not ready for, 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 mm, I feel like this type of this, this connection between the two of you, that maybe you feel that this person does, maybe they don't know what they want right now. You feel like the person doesn't know what they want. Um, that they have a lot of healing to do, that maybe you have tried to help this person to grow, to evolve, to change, to open up to love, but you kind of feel like this person is like giving up with the let it go here. Um, I think that you also feel that this person feels like a, like a, like a, like a soul tie with you, a soul bond. That yes, there has been growth here, but it almost kind of feels like you feel like this person is still lost. They could be somebody who is like trying to find their path. Maybe you feel like this person doesn't know what they want right now. They're trying to figure it out. Maybe they're trying to, they're trying to just, you feel like maybe like this person is trying to discover themselves. Maybe they're, un, you might feel like this person's unsure about their feelings for you. Um, like they don't know, you're not sure what their intentions actually are towards you. Like what is it that they actually want? So it makes me feel like you kind of feel not so confident about this person in what their feelings are, in what their intentions are. And maybe you've tried to talk and communicate with this person to try to help them to maybe even understand by maybe expressing your feelings and your thoughts um, for some of you that have been bold enough to do that, <laughs> but then kind of feeling like they're just like, I feel like kind of like all over the place. Um, you know, this could be an issue surrounding a lack of commitment, a lack of, of giving you the time, the presence, the energy. Maybe you feel like this person is not doing the inner work. They're not willing to heal. They're not willing to grow. They're not willing, maybe, say, to give your connection a chance and to restore it or have more trust in it, have more faith in it, that because they're not understanding their feelings that you're feeling, like, instead of, you know, moving into it and taking action here and listening to what their, their heart is telling them, that you feel like they'd rather just kind of stay detached and kind of pull away and not really do the work, I feel like. So yeah, I'm kind of getting that you, you're you you're kind of having some doubts here about what this person is actually feeling towards you or what direction they're going, that they're uncertain, and I feel like that you can pick up on that, okay? So this is what you think they feel, okay? So now we're going to look at, this is your connecting energies here, we're going to look at how they actually feel, and you guys do get more than the other piles, so I'm going to have to try to create space here, so... Your first one is card number 28, and it says broken open. So here she is sitting in this lotus here. And there's this light here, and it could potentially be her root chakra or even her sacral. But then look at what's happening in her heart chakra and also in her crown. This makes me feel like there's been some type of activation here. Like you've, at, they feel that you've activated something within them. Broken open. Like you really got into their heart. And maybe that, because the lotus here, <clears throat> for those of you that are not familiar, lotuses grow in very dark, murky water. And out they bloom this beautiful flower. So maybe this person is someone who has, you know, been through some really challenging things that have affected them in a way where maybe they were kind of shut down and closed off emotionally and disconnected or detached from their feelings. But there's something about you, your connection, this energy 
that has activated something within this person. Like you broke them open, like you broke through that barrier. I feel like and touch them on a level that maybe is a little bit uncomfortable. You know, being able to allow yourself to feel things this deeply can sometimes be scary being that vulnerable. Okay, so we have broken open. And I'm feeling definitely like you've you've kind of made this person feel like a need for um facing their fears. Finding courage, finding inner strength to get their, um, I feel like, have more control to step into their power here. Okay. We have the earthworm, which is earth energy. And this is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. Um, and then we have the earthworm. Mm. We have regret and it says, I know that I cannot change the past. So this person is having some type of regret over something. Maybe it's something that they said to you, something that they've done. And then you have two card, two tarot cards here. Um, we have the five of swords and the eight of cups. Okay. So there is a similar energy here that you're picking up from them. And it, it is that let it go because the eight of cups is about detachment. It is about letting go. It is about choosing to walk away. The five of swords could be that you and this person have had some type of fight, argument, disagreement, hurtful words that could have been exchanged. They could harbor um, resentment, anger. Okay. Only if that applies to you, especially if you've had an, a fight with somebody. Um, but the five of swords can also be a feeling of defeat. Um, it can also be self-sabotaging thoughts or even behaviors. So like I said, there's something that has changed or shifted within this person. I, I feel like, like I said, your energy here with, especially with the star is very healing. I feel good when I can help others service, you know? So I feel like, I feel like you have an awareness that maybe you've kind of started this person or, or were a, some type of catalyst for this person to really kind of look at their wounds here, you know? And like I said, sometimes that can be I mean, if things are being pointed out, it can be pretty triggering, you know, and sometimes those things that come up are not things that we want to face about ourself, about our patterns of behavior. Um, and so I definitely feel like this person might be feeling the need to kind of pull away and maybe they're kind of saying to themselves, maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I'm not ready for a relationship. Now, maybe I'm not ready um, for love or to open up. So the earthworm energy is about shyness, hesitating, being reluctant to really share and open up. Um, a little apprehensive, okay, which is definitely kind of like what you're feeling the vibe over here. Maybe if they have been someone who has detached from you or who has walked away from you, it could very well be that they do have regrets. You know, if they are someone who did self-sabotage or even said something to you to hurt your feelings in some way or to even push you away, you know, that they could have some, some feelings of, of regret there as well. You know, they may feel like a little bit of a loss of hope, especially if you guys are not getting along with each other. Um, they might even be a little bit intimidated by you. And I, and I feel like it's more or less because you challenge them, you know, and then, and I feel like it's definitely something that is necessary. You know, sometimes there are those connections that, really push us onto a path of healing and onto growth. And we need that, you know, even if it is uncomfortable, we need that. We need that to grow. You know, sometimes we go through stuff that's super painful, but 
being able to move through all those feelings and emotions and thoughts and things like that, it really helps us to, you know, to really self-reflect, you know? So yeah, I definitely feel like there's something here that you've activated within this person. And the Eight of Cups is even about setting out on a journey of self-discovery, you know? And I feel like maybe this person, if they are truly somebody who has a, a tendency to self-sabotage or to, you know, their inner voice is just... I feel like feeding into negative negative thoughts that it's definitely something where this person feels like they need to get more grounded. Okay, so let's look at the the connecting energy and again, you guys got more cards than the other ones, the other piles. So we have venom. Venom and this is a really toxic energy, okay? And it could be things that you that are said you know, literally between the two of you, words that are exchanged. Um, it could be patterns of behavior that either one of you have. I'm feeling it has a lot to do with communication. Okay, let's see what else, how are we going to fit this here? Let's put this here. <clears throat> the fault line. Mm, this kind of makes me feel like this is like shaky ground, something that's a little bit unstable here between you. Maybe you can kind of feel like, um, it kind of reminds me of like tower energy, like maybe it is chaotic, maybe it is unstable, you know, maybe if the two of you are not really sure, like, what is going to happen here if things are this shaky, right? If you're kind of feeling like this person is feeling like the need to let go or move on or feeling lost and then they are detached here. We have lemon and it says access innovative thinking. We also have lemons here. Yeah, so it kind of makes me feel like both of you are in a place right now where maybe you're recognizing that there's, there's, that things are unstable here and that maybe this is a time for both of you to kind of, you know, maybe take some time to really think about things. How can I, like, how can we move past this? How can we fix this? How can we you know, grow within our current situation. So it makes me feel like both of you, you know, in a sense are kind of wanting clarity here and wanting to see, like, is this even something that is repairable? Is it something that, you know, we can make work? Because I am feeling this is a little bit of an unstable energy here. You know, and you may thoroughly feel like I've tried with this person. I've tried to make them see. I've tried to help them. I've tried to help them to heal. I tried to help them to open up a little bit more. Mm, but this person is afraid. They just kind of pull away or don't talk or share their feelings here. And choosing just to give up versus work. Do the inner work here. Okay. <clears throat> so what I want to do... We're going to pull some tarot here and we're going to look a little bit more again at how you think they feel towards you and then we'll pull some tarot for um, your person too. Okay, so pile number three. How do you think that they feel towards you? How do you think they feel? How do you think they feel? The tower. Yeah, so I think that you feel, think that they feel like ending it, like letting it go, like it's not going to last or it's not meant to be. How do you think they feel? 
that it's been chaotic, that it's been unstable, that it's been rocky. How do you think that they feel? The moon. So you think that they feel maybe fear, doubt, uncertainty? That they're hiding their feelings, they're masking their feelings. We've also got Pisces energy, Aries and Scorpio. How do you think they feel confused? Do you think they feel confused? Okay, the hermit, this is withdrawn. Withdrawn, the, the hermit is about solitude, so you make it, might think that they feel like they want to be alone. They feel lost. You think they feel lost and confused? Uncertain. How do you think they feel towards you? The star again. You know, and, and I feel like you think that they feel like there is, there is a spiritual connection that's here. You think, like, you know they feel it. The fool is at the bottom. You think that they feel that even despite that, for them to just kind of trust and to want to take a leap towards you. Nine of Wands, but they're guarded here. They're afraid. You think that they feel afraid. Maybe to speak their truth or to be honest or to try to make things right with you. Try to fix things. Okay. So now let's see how they really feel. How do they actually feel towards you? do they actually feel towards you? How do they actually feel towards you? The four of wands. Okay. Let's see what else. How do they actually feel towards you? Boy, these cards. The Nine of Swords. Okay. So this person could have anxiety, fear, worrying about reconciliation, about getting into a committed relationship with you. So about committing. How do they actually feel? How do they actually feel towards you? Nine of Wands, guarded. I feel like this person may feel like they've also gone through a lot with you, you know, and maybe that is something that kind of worries them is you know, they could either be somebody who has been um, wounded from this connection. Um, and in that case, maybe they're thinking twice. Like, do I really want to get back together with you? Do I want to be in a committed relationship with you? Or they could also be someone who has had wounds from past relationships. And because of that, they think to themselves, I don't ever want to go through what I went through in the past. And so that may be kind of where like they have reservations here about committing about getting into a relationship and the potential of them being able to have a stable, healthy relationship. And if you guys are fighting and arguing and, you know, saying not so nice things to each other, you know, of course that doubt is there. Um, we also have the high priestess energy here. So, you know, some of you, I feel like this person is a little bit intimidated by you. Okay. A little bit intimidated here. Hmm. Underneath the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. So 
this person does think about commitment here. We have the Knight of Cups, so I feel like this person does have romantic feelings for you. Um, they do think about long-term relationship, thinking about a future with you. I do want to see why the Nine of Swords is here, because this is their fear. This is their anxiety and worrying. Why is the Nine of Swords here? I just saw the Seven of Swords. This person could have some trust issues. Okay, why is the Nine of Swords here? The King of Wands. Five of Cups. Yeah, so they're kind of worried that they might they might regret, and that could be getting back together with you. They might regret um, getting into a commitment. Um, they could be someone who has kind of lost hope or lost faith in your connection. Or they could have, because of what they've gone through in the past, just the kind of like lost hope and love altogether. Okay. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> so we saw the King earlier. Yeah. So there's definitely a fear of commitment here. Okay. Definitely a fear of commitment here. If you are already in a committed relationship with this person, you're already married to them, um, then I would say maybe your message is a little bit different. If you are kind of having troubles here, problems in your relationship, um, then I feel like this person might be someone who is worried about whether or not the two of you are going to make it, okay? Okay. If you're going to make it here, you know, because if you guys are, say, like, again, not getting along here, you know, are we really happy, you know? Okay. What's under the fool? The nine of wands. We already saw that. Okay. So to close out your reading, pile three, we're going to get some messages from your person, whatever it is that they want to. Um, say to you. What do they want to say to you? What do you, they want to say to you? We have thinking here. And it says, I can't stop thinking about us being together again. What do they want to say to you? We have attracted. I'm so attracted to you. I have never felt this way before. We also have guilt. And it says, I know this distance between us is completely my fault. Secure. It says, I feel so safe when you are around. I'm sure that we are meant to be. We have angry. I'm angry at myself for causing us to be apart. I feel like I ruined everything. And we also have regret. I regret my mistakes and I hope the universe will give us another opportunity. Um, another message that's coming through right now, funny, at the end here, um, is this person, especially for those of you where you're, you know, really have done inner work, you're very, maybe very spiritual here. I feel like this person is afraid of your light. Okay. Afraid of your light. You could be illuminating things within this person that they do have to heal. Um could be triggering. Okay. Could be very triggering. 
Um, underneath the deck, we have stress and it says, I'm stressed with everything in my life. And I took that out on you healing. We have to allow healing before having a real chance to be happy again. We also have contact. I want to contact you and be honest, but I'm not sure if you want to hear from me. And then we also have distance and it says, I'm really sad about the distance between us. I want to see you, but I know that we need our space now. Okay. All right. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.